Hello everyone, it's your lucky day. We get to finally talk about some of the best tricks and or tips that you can go ahead and utilize on your brand new Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 or really any other Samsung Galaxy Flip that's been out for the most part. So doing this is very easy. The first thing I'd recommend doing though as always is getting some sort of case installed or sort of screen protector. Usually there's already a screen protector installed, but I'd recommend kind of setting those things up first because this is a very, you know, these phones are very durable and everything, but there's cases that you can always buy that I would recommend doing. Now, first of all, the first real tip is actually within the cover display itself. Now, personally, I think this is probably one of the best things about owning a Z Flip is that you do actually get this little display on the front. Now, within it, as some of you may know, you can double tap the display to go ahead and wake it up. But some of you may not know that you can actually customize the display and it's a touchscreen. So you can go ahead and, you know, hop into it like this. You can swipe between the pages and different, you know, little things that you have available here. So you can see different notifications, you can do certain things here, a calendar even if you want to. But at the very end, there's a really cool thing which is add widget. So you can go ahead and add a different widget if you really want to within your Z Flip 4, which is really cool. So here what you can do is you can just click on widgets and you can go ahead and add in a different widget if you want to. Now this is really awesome because it just allows you to go ahead and kind of have something on your phone that a lot of other phones don't even have. So here what you can do is you can go ahead and choose a different widget if you want to. You can go ahead and you know add it wherever you want to. And that is it. You know, now if I had widget, you know, weather, that'd be great. But that's really it. And that's really cool. You can go ahead and just utilize this camera like this. And like I said, this is a really awesome feature within the Z Flip 4. Now, unfolding your phone is very easy, as most of you know. Just go and unfold it this way. Now you're back into the display. Now, another thing I want to go ahead and tell you all, as soon as you buy a Z Flip of any phone, really any phone out there, it's always good to update your phone as soon as you buy it. Especially if you bought it, you know, a few months after the phone's been released, chances are the phone probably has, you know, had a few updates and it's probably best if you go and update your phone. So what I would recommend doing here is hopping out of here and going straight into your settings application like this. Now in settings, what you want to do is scroll all the way at the bottom until you see software update. And here what I would recommend doing is clicking at the very top and downloading and installing the latest update for your phone. Now, like I said, if, the, if you just bought this phone like how I just bought it, chances are your, your phone is probably up to date. But if it's been weeks or months after, or even like a year or two after the phone has been officially out, your best bet is to update the phone, especially as soon as you get it. Because in case there's an issue with the update, you can always return the phone in the return period. So that is another big thing I'd recommend doing, updating your phone pretty much as soon as you buy it. Now, another thing that most of you may already know is enabling certain things and certain features within your phone. So first of all, with the side of your phone right here, you see we have that little power button, right? It's basically how you unlock and, you know, turn on and off your phone. But if you hold it down, sometimes it may not, you know, power off your phone. It may just go into Bixby. Now, if you like Bixby, then keep this. I personally don't really use anything like that, not even Siri or anything. So in order for you to go ahead and remap this to a different, you know, area, what you can always do is make your way back into your settings application. And what I tend to do is I just go in and click on the search bar and I go ahead and type in Bixby. Now, right now, it does show me side key, so you can always type in side key as well. But typically, I type in Bixby and it knows what I'm talking about. So what you want to do here is you want to go into there, and it's going to show you exactly. It's under advanced features, and what you want to do is under side key, you want to go ahead and click on side key, and here you can actually go ahead and remap this power button right here to whatever else you want to do it. So if you press and hold the power button, right now we have it set to wake Bixby. But instead of doing that, what we can do is turn on power off menu. Now what this is going to, you know, what this is basically going to do is if we go and hop out of here, if we hold down that power button at the bottom, it's now going to bring us into our power off menu. So this is exactly what I want my phone to do, and that's exactly what's going on. So this is another really cool thing that you can do within your phone. On top of that, at the bottom, you may see that we have our, you know, random, you know, buttons here, the home button, multitasking, the back button. However, you can always enable gestures, which is a very new way to, it's not very new, but it's been out for a few years. But this is a more modern way of using your phone and gives you more screen real estate. To enable this, what you can do is go back into your settings, you know, click on display, and right at the very bottom here, there should be a little gesture-based design or a little like nav bar option. So as you can see right here, so right here we see navigation bar. All you have to do is go and click on navigation bar. And here you can go ahead and enable this how you want to. So here you can go and enable the buttons like that. Or you can enable swipe gestures. And by clicking this, what's going to do is it's going to bring that bar out of the way at the very bottom. And now you can go ahead and use the gesture-based design instead of using the buttons. So if you use the gesture-based design before, well, that's pretty much how you do it. Now, I don't know why the Samsung Pay thing keeps coming up. But essentially, you can go ahead and utilize it by doing this. And that's another really cool way you can interact with your phone. And I would probably recommend doing it this way anyway. 
Now hopping back out, you can swipe back by the corner like this. There's also a lot of other things within here too. Now our Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 does actually have motion smoothness, which is the 120Hz display. So if you're comfortable with it, then I would recommend keeping it at adaptive, but you can always go with standard too if you want to save a little bit more battery life. This brings your, you know, essentially brings your phone back down to 60Hz. And if you're into it, you can keep it there. I personally like the motion smoothness. It's really, really nice. And it's again, one of my, you know, favorite displays for sure. Now I hate having adaptive brightness on. I, you know, I'm not a fan of that at all. I'll also go ahead and reduce the brightness right here. But on top of that, some of you may know this too, you have the dark mode enabled or the option to enable dark mode within your phone, which is very cool. So here what you can do is you can go and click on dark mode like this, and you can see everything from our phone for the most part becomes darker, and it even darkens the wallpaper a little bit too. So if we make our way over to applications like you know the Google Play Store or the Galaxy Store or any other application for the most part, it will go ahead and darken the theme on all of them, which is so cool. That's basically been around for many years now, but that is another cool thing that I would honestly probably recommend you to do. And this works in a few different ways. One, it you know kind of reduces the strain on your eyes and it's a really cool thing. But also another big thing is it actually saves a little bit of battery life from your phone. And that's another cool thing that I like doing. If you want to save the most battery life, definitely turn on dark mode. But for the you know, time being, I like being on light mode. It looks a little bit better on the camera. Now finally, the next thing I want to show you, and there may be two things I want to show you left, wireless power share with your Galaxy Z Flip 4, you have the ability of wirelessly charging other devices from your phone. So this includes other like phones that support wireless charging or your Galaxy Buds or even your Samsung Galaxy Watch can be charged from your Z Flip 4, which is so awesome. So to do this, what you wanna do is you wanna hop inside of your settings application like this. You can always go and click on search. And basically what I do is just type in wireless. And by the time I'm done typing wire, you can usually see something like a wireless power sharing. And all you have to do here is go ahead and click on wireless power sharing. And at this point, you just scroll on the bottom right here, wireless power sharing. And what you can do here is go ahead and get, it gives you a quick breakdown of basically how this works. So it tells you right here, your phone can go ahead and wirelessly power share to other devices right here. So it tells us the battery limit is 30%. So it will charge, you know, and when you get down to 30%, it's going to stop charging. So here I can go ahead and enable it. Now you have to kind of enable it every single time, which is kind of weird. But if I throw in like my iPhone right here, for example, right? If I just toss my iPhone on top, you should be able to see that it'll start charging my phone now, which is so awesome. So in my opinion, that is a really cool thing. I'm so happy Samsung, I mean, they've put it on a lot of their phones, I think since the Galaxy S10. And I'm so happy that type of feature is still enabled on our iPhones. So those are pretty much the main things I would recommend kind of looking at. Again, you can go ahead and kind of modify and see which ones you kind of like doing. But personally, I like this phone. I think it's really cool. As I said before, I'd probably recommend putting a case or a screen protector. I don't even like, I'm going to leave a link in the description. You can just go to Walmart, find one or wherever you want to pass by. Purchase one. I think it's worth it. You should probably also put a case on the little or a screen protector on the front display right there. But ultimately, another thing I'd recommend avoiding, don't put your phone in water. This thing is IP certified, but I still feel like these hinges could use a little bit of work. If you're in an area with a lot of sand or a lot of dirt and grit, and you're planning on putting your phone around it, I would probably recommend avoiding that too, because that can cause some issues with the hinges. But in terms of that, that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.